What do you think about this, Frank? Pretty good day for, for a ride in the video, isn't it? Yeah, it is, actually, man. It's nice. What's the temperature, anyway? Well, I don't have any. 70s. Idea. Yeah, I'd say it's close to 80, maybe. Supposed to get into 80s. I looked, and by noon, it was supposed to be uh, 79. Pretty nice. I'll second that. Like I say, a little rain the night before would be better and settle the dust. Yeah, riding drag is kind of, kind of a drag. <laughs> well, I want to be back here in case one of you guys crash, you'd be on the video. Uh -huh. You'd be YouTube famous. <laughs> well, it'll happen someday. <laughs> that way YouTube boots can laugh at you and say, man, look at them guys, they can't even ride. I'm way over here on the left. Somebody had grabbed about me being on the wrong side of the road. Well, at least you can see where you're going. That's why I do it. Stay out of the dust. Depends on which way the winds are blowing. Looks like we're going down to the creek. I see some clouds back over there. Which way is that rain supposed to come from? Come from Oklahoma City. Hmm. That last rain we got came backwards. Yeah, usually you get bigger rains when it comes out of the east or you know northeast. Yeah. yeah. Seems like it lasts longer anyway. Well, well, I'll have to, have to say my D sports are, are doing pretty good on this gravel. Well, at least we're on Honda. We don't worry about nobody breaking down. Well, not yet. I, be I better be quiet. <laughs> Ain't no Polaris, is that for sure? Yeah. Polaris dual sport. That'd be a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Belt drive. Yeah. Belt drive dual sport. Well, them rocks would be good on that bell drive, wouldn't it? Oh, shit. Yeah, getting wet, too, wouldn't be much fun. Yeah. There's a turtle. You guys missed it. Which is turtle. good. Didn't run over it. Box are snapping. No, just a box turtle. Box turtle surprise. There's that pond. Boy, I know that last rain, them turtles were coming out everywhere. Yeah, they did. They was uh, probably thinking, man, we got some water. Yeah, we can go anywhere now. Yeah, we can go back to our home. <coughs> you want to go back, uh, I'm trying to think, go back through, through Thomas Holler? Up to you. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. All right. Like, if you do that, we can jump up, go JJ at Pine Log Road or something. That's all paved. Yeah. That'd be the wrong way, Pine Log Road. Yeah, they take you out back out on 7686. Yeah. I guess it'd take you out on 7686. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm, never mind. I'm not thinking. I'm, we're a pal. Yeah. Yeah, never mind. Well, that breeze makes a difference. It'd be hot. It's pleasant. We used the gladiator with the door off, doors off yesterday. Driving, I'll tell you. You had to take your glasses off because the wind was blowing so bad through there. Huh. You, you, mean, you took it on dirt roads after you had it all shined up? Oh, no. We were on the high. We were on pavement. Okay. I usually don't take the thing on the dirt road with the doors off because, man, it gets so bad. And there'll be some idiot come flying by. You slow down slow when you finally meet somebody on the gravel and they fly by 40 mile an hour and dust you plumb out. They don't care. I know. You had her shined up you stopped by the house. It looked good. Yeah, so I don't like it with the doors and top and stuff all that off. I hate taking it on the dirt roads. Unless it just rained, then it ain't bad. Ain't much water in Mike's Creek over there. Mm -mm. It's low. We're still behind. Have to be. Oh, yeah, we've got to be. So people camping. Yeah, I'm going to try to go camping again. I thought we was going to go take the campers down to Sugar Tree, Sugar Island. Yeah, I'd like to. Maybe next weekend. So you're talking about somewhere besides here? Yeah, over, go to Pineville. Live down on the creek road. You know, on that creek road we rode the other day. Oh, yeah. Down where they got the skateboard park. Yeah. I just, I don't know if Kenny could get his camper in here. It's, uh, Too low? Yeah, he might, oh, yeah. drag, might drag off his connector. Yeah, that's... He needs to figure out how to fix that pull in there. 
when you come into my creek. Yeah, see, don't bother my little camper. I'm well, don't me either, but I'm high enough up. If you turn, make sure you cross the bridge first. <laughs> <laughs> Short light, ride and a long drop. It'd be easier on you. Well, we got two 300Ls here, and then we got that slow one up front, a 250L. We have to let him up front in case he breaks down. We'll, we won't run off and leave him. Oh, boy. I'm sorry, be, Harry. Be nice. <laughs> a little pig does okay. Shit. That's what I was saying about the TPTL. People still ask me a lot, and I really, if, if you never had the 300, there's nothing to worry about. Because I was perfectly happy with my 250, and I had no plans of getting this 300. And then I just, for the channel, I decided I would. It is good, though, isn't it? Yeah, oh, yeah, I like it. But like I say, I, if I would have just kept the, the 250, I would have never known. I was perfectly happy with it. And for stuff like this here, there's not enough difference to matter. No, really, for what we're doing. If you're not using anything, you get no power. Or it does just as good. Well, Craig, he just thought his 300L almost needs his first oil change. Yeah. <laughs> 400, yeah. Yeah, I changed my first one to 300, and now I'm up, I'm about due for my 3,000. I'm getting close. I changed my 3,000 about 300 miles ago. I got about four three. Liter, four liter, yeah, four liter. Watch out! Anybody don't want them and not sell it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at 471 miles. Yep, you're just about there. Yeah, I mean, I know it's cheap. I mean, it's not cheap, but it still ain't that bad. At least you're not having to put six quarts in it. And no. Well, it's something like 1.6 quarts. Yeah. I buy it by the gallon. I think it's like $19 or something for the gallon. So you save just a little bit. I've got a gallon of it on the shelf, about three quarts. Yeah. Just, just in case. Time's getting hard. I want to have a little backup. Yeah, and I buy my filters like I think I bought a five pack last time. I just bought two pack from CRFs only, and I also bought an air filter. I got two of those. I've never even looked at my air filter. Yeah, I need to look at mine, especially following you guys. Yeah, back up some dirt. What a little wind even here on these back roads is pretty bad today. I know, I like it. It's blowing the dust away. Yeah, <laughs> mostly. Now this road right here, it, it comes out up on Pine Log, doesn't it? JJ? Yeah. Mail. It comes out on Pine Log. Yeah, Pine Log. Yeah. I've never went up to... Then you take a left, you go to JJ, and right, you come out on uh, 86, 76, 76. 76, yeah. There by the Amish store. Yeah. If I'm going too fast for you 300, you just tell me, boys. Well, we got another gear there somewhere. All right. I'm only in second. Yeah. <laughs> you know how to get it out? No. <laughs> Me and Craig don't tell him, guys, but we're actually about to burn the brake pads off these dang 300s, trying yeah. to keep them running over that 250. Oh, boys. boys. <laughs> My brakes are smoking right now. <laughs> I can't get out of second. If I get into third, I got to go past him. Yeah, you'll run over him, yeah. Well, I do envy the seat that Harry has on there. He does have yeah. seat concepts. Yeah, this thing sucks right now. I can feel yeah, it. Me too. <laughs> yeah, the seat concepts. I mean, it, it's not like being in the, in the lazy boy, but it's seat standard seat. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you right now. I, I, right now, I, I bet uh, Craig's the same way. I'm just about feeling the plastic pretty solid. Yeah. I can. Yeah. Mine's still pretty comfortable. Whoa, used, what, was that a rabbit or a sprat? Squirrel. Oh, squirrel. Well, I couldn't tell what it was. It might like to run through my spokes. <laughs> Boy, that would have been good. <laughs> Something tells me it wouldn't have been really good. 
<laughs> Not for the squirrel. No, or me either, probably. <laughs> I don't know what happened when it got around there to your brakes. Yeah. Something would have had to give, and it'd probably been his skin. But yeah, this seat is just down to, I can just pretty much feel I'm almost sitting on plastics. Yeah. It gets yeah. worse the older the bike gets. It's like breaking down, I guess. I don't About know. About two hours is all the standard seat's good for for me. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not really bad, bad. But I got one out over ready to come in one of these days. They're backed up like everybody else, I guess. Yeah. Well, it took me. When I got this one last year, it took eight weeks. Wow. That's so my streak? Yeah. Yeah. That is? Yeah. That starts up there at my house. Yep. Right there, that spring coming out of my, right there on the edge of my property. That's got to be the coldest creek I've ever. It is. It's like Lauren River. It? It's cold. It's always been cold. If we'd have took that Songbird Road or whatever that was a while ago, son. Yeah. We'd have come out right down here at this on this side, this cemetery. Yep. It cut off, cut off all that going around town. This road right here. Fox. Yep. Fox Road. I seen a dead fox yesterday. He's pretty ripe. Must have met his maker in the highway. Mm hmm. Yep, it's pretty nasty. We come by your house. I seen Deb out there. Is she picking up walnuts? She's right there around the front. That's around the front porch. Oh, yeah. He's either watering her flowers or she sits out there and reads. Sherry waved. I waved at her with one finger. California howdy. That's the only one I, yeah, California howdy. <laughs> the hillbilly style. Yep. <laughs> I don't know where you use that sleeping, probably. I ain't no spelling. The only one that works around that place. Yeah. I know how that is. <laughs> I was probably in the shop. I reworked that little flower planter for her here. I spent about three hours in there trying to get that thing cut out and nailed together. Got a truck coming, Frank. Thank you. You're pretty good about letting me know, anyhow. I'm trying. Even well, on my side of the road, so I see you. Right well, on. there's some dust. Yep. I don't think it's bad. That white chat dust is worse. The gym roads are usually dustier than the gra regular gravel to me. If it's been uh, a long time without rain. I don't like that white limestone stuff. This is a whole different road you come down through here in rainy weather. This yeah. is a different experience. Yeah. Well, I've come down here a lot before. We we have in the Jeep and on the bike. And sometimes you got to turn around. You can't go no further. Right. You get to these creeks. I've tried to come down through here in the Toyota. I'm gonna, you want to go back this one or you want to go with the other one? Well, if he'd probably rather go to St Thomas Holler if he's wanting to go. Yeah. Right. Oh, I'm not in that huge of a hurry. Oh. I just, uh, man, I mean, yeah, that's fine. You're fine. Because Star Holler takes a little while. I yeah. mean, Flag Springs takes a little while. Yeah. Star Holler's not bad or Thomas Holler. A Star Holler's pretty short. Yeah. I got my Magellan on here and we didn't even get to use it. Got turned on? No, we just didn't go anywhere where I needed it. I know oh. where I'm at. Yeah. That's probably where I'll go to see them. We'll take the Jeep and go for a drive somewhere. Or the bike. Love this club. Well, it's nice through here. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Ah. Feels good. Just tried to shift into six. Already there. <laughs> Can't you see your gear indicator on your dash there? Yeah. No. <laughs> Things have left that off in 2020. I've been down in there on my bike. No, I mean on the right. You've been down in there. Oh, you've been down underneath that cliff? Yeah. Yep. 
gets kind of muddy after rain. You're also the guy that come out of Butler Hollow in the drainage ditch too. Oh yeah, that's true. That's a good one. Like your own little racetrack. Yeah, I like him ditches. That's how you break your bike in good. How's that? Crashing. <laughs> no. I'd have to object to that. If you'd have hit that brush right there, it'd have knocked the dust off your jacket. Well, as close as I can stand. So if you buy that elk ranch right there, we just make all kinds of trails. Well, would that be great? <laughs> yeah. Go up there and have somebody bring your groceries to you. Yeah, it'd be awesome for that. Nice, pretty place, a lot of land. I'd do it, but the budget can't stand it right now. Well, you never know when you're going to need your money for something else. <laughs> yeah. Like living. Yeah. The bank could just laugh at my face. <laughs> uh, you want to finance how much? <laughs> whoa, whoa, he said, you can't. There's not that much money here. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think your job is going to make the payments on that much. <laughs> Good old Tom Soller. Tom Soller Road. I've lived on this road now for my goodness, uh, 30, like 33 years. This was Thomas Hollow Road? Yep, this is the end of it. Yep. Where it comes out at? Off the U, off the U Highway there. I didn't realize it came this far. Yeah. Matter of fact, that, that house right back there, the first house on the road, one of the guys I went to school with, that's where the bus turned around at for Exeter. That's a long old way down here for okay. the bus. Jim Bailey. They used to have some kind of shindig in this barn up here. I don't know what. I didn't know that. There's a tractor in there now. Yeah. Boys, I can't tell how fast they're going. There's too much dust on my screen. Well, you're not breaking any land speed record. Yeah. He is. I, was, I thought we were supposed to enjoy this. First, I'm driving too fast, I'm driving too slow. I'm sure, you guys ain't got the messages back there somewhere. Well, we could tow you, I guess. Uh, you ever been towed on a motorcycle? No. Oh my, it ain't this. No. You gotta watch it. It's dangerous. I don't like being towed in a car when I have it. I've been towed on a motorcycle. You gotta really know what you're doing. No, I never did. <laughs> and the weeds are tall as trees down through here. Yeah, they could. Ain't no way to really cut them either. Uh-uh. Hope the frost. Frost again. Frost or fire. Maybe a good fire and then a frost. I wish my place would catch on fire, but I don't want to be the one to light it. No, I wouldn't either. I would like somebody else to light their place on fire and they come over on mine and clean it all for me. I you pack cigarettes and put a bunch of firecrackers and matches in them. Well, they know it ain't me, Hick. I don't smoke. No. Wouldn't be me. Spiderwebs haven't been very bad today. Mm -mm. That's because we're not in the woods. Oh, I guess that does help. <laughs> you go out in the woods, they'll be out there. Yeah. It won't be long, they'll be gone. 
Well, the other day, the, the floaters was everywhere. Mm -hmm. those, all with the parachute spiders or whatever they are. Yeah. Those things are just floating everywhere. They must have a nice breeze. That was one of the windy day like this. Yep. Road's kind of washed out in different spots. Hop on the wrong side. Showing off. You bet. I never did like this little hill here, and I don't know why. It's kind of weird the way it's made. The way it breaks and you can yeah. wash it out and everything. I've come flying over before, and it kind of freak you out. Yeah. You have to slow down, especially if it's if you think there might be a car coming, yeah. it'll, it'll pull you to the other side. We used to come through here on dirt bikes. I'm telling you, we was riding a fine line of disaster. <laughs> I mean, every corner you thought you might die, so it was bad. I don't actually miss it. <laughs> you think you're past that stage? Yeah, I'm over that stuff. All these little gravel piles here on the edge of the road on the corners, that was our berms. You just rip into one of those dudes and they'll hold you usually. Usually. But there wasn't no uh what's this, what's this log? Yeah, yeah, there wasn't no pavement. Uh, that's a big thing for this part of the country. It's chip and seal like this, when it's freshly done, it's more dangerous than the gravel. Yeah, because it gets filled up on the middle and the edges. Yeah. Oh. Next weekend, I gotta go to Oklahoma. What's going on there? Family or? Yeah, we're camping down there. Robber's Cave. Oh, that's, that's down below Wilberton. Yeah. Yeah. We're going. I was down there year before last when that went on, but I didn't stop. I was just, I was on my way back from Callister. Yeah, they're having that big thing they have every year. You're going to take, you're going to ride the Tallahena down there. Oh yeah, we rode that. I like that. Yeah, that's a nice ride. We go all the way to Hot Springs. Oh, do you? Through there. Yeah, that's the worst part about that. That drive from Hot Springs back here is just... Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, we take the bike to haul it down there. That's a long way to drive these, one of these things. We camp out down there at Charlton Campground. It's pretty nice. Right down there on the way before you get into Hot Springs. Are you taking your camper or are you taking the tent? Uh, we're just going to take neither one. We're just going to stay in the camper with Kayla and them. They got one oh. camp spot, so okay. we're just going to stay with them. They got room in their bigger camper. I'm going to take my bike, put it in the back of the truck. Oh, you got that tent that you put in the back of the gladiator. Yeah. Yeah, I thought about that. Now that well, if we just stay in the camp with them. I won't have to put it up and take it down every day. That's true. That tent, I know you probably haven't tried it in wet weather. You think it'd be pretty dry? Oh yeah, we've had it in rain. Have you? Yeah, it stays dry. It overlaps the outside of the Jeep and it actually works pretty good. That'd be a good way to go if you didn't want to pull a camper. Right. You throw your bike in the back and then you can put the tent up and I got a uh, hitch rack too I can use if I wanted. I think I'd use the hitch rack. Yeah. I hate that unloading those things out the back. Yeah, uh, exactly. I thought about it. I might use the hitch rack when we go down there. Hey, I'll tell you one thing I've got to do. You know, you know that lift I bought off of you? Yeah. Stand? It's only rated for like 350 pounds. Oh, I know. If I, if I get this 500X, I'm going to have to get a new lift. I don't know. It might hold it. How much does it weigh? 430, I think. Yeah. About 80 or 90 pounds too heavy for that little lift. I'm going to have to come up with some kind of a screwjack or something. Yep. You need, a, you need one like I got in there. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. You got, that's, yours is almost semi-professional. Yeah, I know. I looked into that. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, it is. I actually put mine up on it, and then I put that little jack you're talking about on yeah. it, and raise up my bike on it. On it. That way, you can rotate the wheels. Yeah. yeah. It'll be easier for cleaning the chain. Oh yeah. I'm not stopping at the house. I gotta go on to Cassville. Okay. Gotta run by Walmart.
I told her, I said, well, I might, we might be coming back by the house. I said, Harry, I'm going with Harry, so we won't be riding over 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> a lightweight Harry. Yeah. Some days, it ain't bad going for a six-hour ride. Some days, it's about two or three stuff. <laughs> Oh, I get sore, but I still, even when I'm sore, I can ride, I can still keep riding all day. People, I'm not stopping get off every so often. I used to go riding with all Blake and Kevin, hell, they young as can be. And we'd ride most of them, and they're like, oh, it's killed me, I'm tired. I'm like, what? I'm not ready to get home yet, yeah, let's keep going. Gee whiz, we ride another 200 miles. Well, there ain't no truck burning this time, so we Yeah, no kidding. Neighborhood's picking up. They'll have to fix that road because it'll fall apart right there. Yep, they burn all the tar out of it. Mm -hmm. Dang, I got my bike dirty too. You know how to fix that. Following that 250 and the dang oil splattering out of the tailpipe. I won't charge you anything for that. Yeah, for looping my bike up. Yeah. You don't have to do anything to change that rust. <laughs> Those leaves are starting to fall, Frank. Yeah, they are. It won't be long. It'll be big time. That is one thing nice about riding in the winter. You can actually see in the hollers. and yeah. I mean, I, I like the summer better, but you can sure see in the winter. In the summertime, you can't see nothing besides Yeah, trees. <laughs> yeah. I think it's prettier in the summer. I don't like it all. I don't like it. It's quick. I don't mind cold. There's that old knucklehead's house up there. I heard you can't trust him. No.